I grew up with a lot of Vedic chanting, bhajan, and Carnatic music. And I, I learned Carnatic music as a, uh, a child. And then I became what's known as a rebel. And at that time, I, you know, discovered one of my great passions, which is blues and rock. And then I got to about the age of um, 20, and um, I realised actually that I couldn't do this anymore. And I thought actually one, one of the things that I'd been neglecting was like I needed to have some contact with India. So when I was 20, I started coming back to India and trying to reconnect. Then about 1997, I met my partner and producer Sam Mills because he'd made a record and I was really very impressed actually with the way that they'd built bridges between East and West and uh, we released our first record Salt Rain uh, in 2001 um, and, um, and it just really took off. One of the greatest uh, struggles I've had since, um, since releasing my first album, Salt Rain, is just not conforming to any genre. So that went on and that was particularly a problem in England, especially when you're Indian and living abroad. It's quite difficult. Mountains overthrown, steep places shall fall, every holy wall shall tumble to the ground. Music for me is like a physical need. It's a kind of inner hunger to be ambitious. It's not an easy road. In fact, it gets harder. It's an absolute necessity to stick by what you believe in. And you're doing it because you want to do it, because you need to do it. <laughs> 